My name is Jim Critchley. No, they're at lunch. Let's see if any of our light duty folk are here. I got on with the city of Tucson in 1988. Great bunch of guys that I started with. Aspirations grew once Fire Academy was over. I wanted to be the training chief. I was going to be more like Steve Martin in Roxanne. Oh. I wanted a little department up in Colorado where I could be the training chief. <laughs> I don't really know karate. That didn't happen. Of course, I didn't chase that very much. I just chased what I was doing. The city of Tucson's fire department has seen some hard times over the years with financial restraints, but it continues to provide the best service to the Tucson community. You know why we have fires on the wall? So that we can tell stories over what happened there. And that's the way we learn, remember. The Tucson Fire Department is made up of 633 commissioned firefighters. They're part, the biggest part of this fire department. But I've also got dispatchers. I've got uh, cost recovery and finance and HR and uh, professionals that uh, they come to work every day. Being a Tucson firefighter has its challenges, including that one call that's hard to forget. In this case, it was six-year-old Esther Galaz who was last seen on December 19th, 1994. We got a call for, um, for an injured person in the wash. It was there that they would find her body under a mattress. I still remember the firefighters yelling, the footsteps on the, the side. I can still smell the desert area. All of that stays with us. We build our armor but it never leaves us. So we, uh, we try to uh, deal with it as best we can, but that's the baggage that, uh, that we'll carry for a long time. And one of the big pieces is trying not to take it home. But... <sighs> What's next? What came next was a promotion to fire chief, but six months later, he would be faced with a new challenge. It's probably about five o'clock in the morning. I can't move my arm, but I figured I just laid on her wrong. With hours passing and symptoms progressing, now it's my leg and my arm that I can't move. Chief Critchley had his son call 911. As a trained paramedic, the chief knew he was having a stroke. I had facial droop. I couldn't use the right side of my body, and it dawned on me right then, wow, this is really bad. While on his way to St. Joseph's Hospital, Chief Critchley, still in good spirits, felt he should lighten the mood. I've got a brand new paramedic, and he's gonna start the lines on the fire chief. I just reminded him that uh, if he missed, it may show up on his evaluation. Tests were conducted, and Chief Critchley was sent to the ICU. Nobody knew I was in the hospital. I didn't want anybody to see me or, or anything because I didn't want them to think uh, they had a broken fire chief. By the middle of November, I was back to, to full duty and I've been doing it ever since. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is my wife with, uh, with the gold star for nursing. That's Karen. It is at home with his wife and three children where Chief Critchley finds his happiest days. One of the best days is, is uh, seeing my kid finish first doing his Irish step dance. One of the best days is seeing my, going out with my daughter to Ren's Fest, where she gets to hang out with her. God. Sorry. Hearing my, my middle son, Donovan, repeating the things that I've been telling him over and over again. My best days are probably have, have to do with the kids, the family, but Everybody out here is part of that family, too. So. Even while at home, Chief Critchley, never off duty, is always thinking about his fire family. I still listen to the radio at night when the guys go into fires, when the guys go into big events. I still hear them every night. Worrying about the men and women who serve this community is a constant concern for the chief. When everything else fails, the fire department can't. What I decide today is going to affect their livelihood. At least this is the way I feel. 
to make the right decisions to make sure that they're going to be okay. We run into hazardous atmospheres every day, so I need to make sure that we have the equipment and we have the ability to make it safe and healthy for all of our firefighters. With everyday worries and stress, Chief Critchley continues to strive to make the Tucson Fire Department better for the community he loves. Working for all my friends and family that live inside the city of Tucson, and that's, that's why I do what I do.